After Vanderville Town was raided, me and my friend Daisy have been traveling north trying to look for any more safe human settlements. There hasn't been much of that, but we found lots of Pokemon. I'll start with a strange Pokemon I found by Aquacord River. It's a large bird, but its wings look pretty underdeveloped. Reminds me of Fletchling, but I don't remember Fletchling having teeth. They eat fish Pokemon in the river, and sometimes work together with Sigsagoon to hunt bigger fish. The big bird doesn't seem to mind chewing a bit of ice. I scanned it with my Pokedex to see what it's about. Fletchling is a water ice type Pokemon with the ability Strong Jaw and hidden ability Gale Wings. Their bite hits hard and their Hyper Fang even harder. They're big and sturdy birds, so while they're strong, they can't fly at all. I'm curious to see if they're going to get more in that direction when they evolve, or if their wings will develop and they'll finally take flight. It seems like Fletchling's teeth aren't exactly teeth, and they're actually sharp points on its beak. This seems like they're still taking advantage of the weight loss aspect of their beak, which is a point towards flight. I've also seen the biggest ones run into a dive as they're practicing to be able to fly over the water. I'm going to try to get Daisy to catch one, and I'll update y'all when it evolves. Next is a weird little Esper I found. This one's quite the looker. I didn't know that he had such a distinct face. It was waving frantically at me and making lots of noise, but it doesn't seem to be hurt. It definitely hates being held, but that's not exactly uncommon. Something about this Esper seems distinctly smart, but also stupid at the same time. I'll scan it with my Pokedex to see if I can learn anything else. Esper is a psychic type Pokemon with the ability Keen Eye. It's a very observant Pokemon, I can almost see the gears turning in its head as it investigates my tent. It's quite big for an Esper, I wonder how it found so much food around here. Torchic seems to like Esper, but I'm not sure if Esper likes it back. Esper's moves seem normal in the Pokedex, it's got stuff like Confusion and Fake Out, but I haven't actually seen it use anything other than maybe Leer. I can't really get a read on this Pokemon, but I can't find anything wrong with it. Maybe it's just excitable. This Pokemon is quite the detective, and it actually helped us sniff out a Pidgey we could cook up. If this Esper sticks around, it might actually be a great ally. Next is a Pokemon I thought was supposed to scatter dust around, but it's actually sucking it up. They ate poisonous plants and processed the poison into black powder that they spewed around. Instead, this similar looking Pokemon is sucking up dust and dirt around it and sticking it to its body as a different kind of defense. Let's see what the Pokedex says. Scatterbug is a bug steel type Pokemon with the abilities Sticky Hold, Compound Eyes, and Hidden Ability Gluck Gluck 3000. Just kidding, it's called Vacuum 3000. Some strange mechanism in the Pokemon's neck can suck up just about anything heavier than a few kilograms, including the items of most opponents if Scatterbug isn't already holding something. Careful though, if the opponent's holding anything heavy like an iron ball, it'll damage Scatterbug. This Pokemon's body is really sticky, and once you touch one, it's hard to unstick without hurting it. It seems like its skin is covered in some kind of glue-like mucus. I wonder if it makes use of any of that when it pupates. Last is a Pokemon that attacked us in the middle of Santaloon Forest. It was really strong, but Daisy was able to beat it with the help of a mysterious trainer in her chest pin. It looked totally wrong, like it was edited by some outside force. It was acting with a rage that couldn't have been backed by any kind of intelligence, almost like it knew nothing else. Although it looked incredibly strange, anyone could tell it was a Pidgeotto. I have no idea how it could have become like this though. Maybe it's got something to do with that phrase, you are what you eat. Pidgeotto is a normal bug type Pokemon with the abilities Compound Eyes, Tangled Feet, and Hidden Ability Big Pecs. I know for sure Pidgeotto was not always like this, but the Pokedex doesn't seem to give me any indication of that. It just calls this monstrosity the Bug Bird Pokemon. Its speed ties Froakie while having similarly high HP and attack. Not to Froakie, but to its speed. Basically, it's pretty strong compared to our Pokemon. They jump incredibly high using their front pair of legs for control, middle pair for momentum, and back pair for power. They pounce on their prey and come down with force on their strong talons. It gave me a pretty awful gash on my leg, but Chespin's helmet seemed to handle it pretty well. I wish potions worked on me. Anyway, all's well now. Chespin even evolved, and we have a super cool trainer on our side now. In my next video for this series, I'll talk about that evolution and some others. For this video though, that's about it. Check out my Patreon, which you can subscribe to for just a dollar a month to support me and get your name at the end of my videos. Thanks Captain Kobop, Art of Dying, and Mr. Kill. Will I start posting on time next week? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching.